Welcome to Decker Tech. I'm Aaron Decker, and today I got a uh, request to make a video about the item Mana Loop. My Maluka here has the item Mana Loop, which says, Hey, uh, your regeneration is minus 10, and when you play a card, you gain one energy. Uh, this can be a little confusing. There are some nuances and uh, maybe some word usage that is a little misleading here but i will go through all the details i can hopefully that answers the questions for the request and clears this up for anyone that uh has the same kind of questions so for this fight um i'm just going to do no attacks to these guys because it's a wilbur team and this is the only save i can find that had the mana loop on it so wilbur accidentally kills things so i'm just going to uh play as if uh i'm not doing any damage I'm going to give Maluka as many cards as possible to kind of illustrate how she's playing this out. And, uh, yeah, first thing to notice, as you see, all these folks say three starting, I mean, the energy for their next turn, which is technically a type of energy regeneration. And so Mana Loop here says energy regeneration minus 10. So right now, of the, the only two things that means to me is energize the actual mechanic and starting regen per turn, which is here on your character sheet, which is three per turn most of the time. You can modify that with some events or or whatnot, but this three per turn is part of the um, is not is is part of the the energy rege regeneration that it's talking about here on the mana loop. And energize is also the other form of it. Those are the really the only two things it's saying is like your your in between turn energy. Generation doesn't exist. Your in everything in turn works just fine. It's just the between turns that doesn't count. And so minus ten, you can actually manually shove. I mean, push past that. Like I can give, I keep giving energize one energize one energize. I can keep giving energize to Maluka, and Wilbur can actually do this with the energize talent. But if you can get past seven energize and your three starting uh, regen. I mean, your three per turn, you'll actually start to get energy on the character. But for 99% of the time, this means no energy between turns, no start of turn energy. You must find other ways to generate energy. And by doing that is mainly going to be through the mana loop item itself and or some other cards you have that generate energy. I've said the word energy a few times because this is an energy video. Uh, it is what it is. I've played a little bit here just to make sure that my team doesn't fall apart to the, the enemies because this is madness 14. All right, so you see I did gain one energy there, but that was right here in my vanish card. That was this boon that said, hey, gain one energy. So any all uh, all cards that say gain an energy, something will happen here. Like this one says draw, gain an energy. Bam, I go from three and I go to five. I gained one for playing a card and one for the energy on the card. Now, a bunch of these other cards... This is a one cost card. I have a five, goes down one, goes up one. So basically the cost of all my cards, you can just put a minus one all. So my twos cost me one energy, like of what I have here. My ones cost zero and my zeros actually generate. So right here, I went from five to six. I actually gained an energy because I played a zero cost card. Now, uh, let's see what else we got here. The, the key here is that you want to play around, I'll show you this later on my, my deck, uh, but this average energy cost, right now this is just showing my draw pile, but your deck in general, if this average energy cost is one or less, you will never run out of energy with mana loop, give or take vanishing cards. But I will show you an instance where I can run out of energy, and by doing that, I have to play all of these two cost ones. Oh, and you'll notice, see that one, I went from six to six. That's because I'm still gaining energy through my talent that says gain an energy anytime I play a heal spell. So I can play another heal spell here. Six, five, six, six, five, six. I'll keep going as long as healing brew is active. But once I play this next one, I'm going to go six down to five. So the heavier your deck is, the more energy the cards cost, the more likely you'll run out of energy and not be able to replenish it. So I'm going to play all these zero cost vanishes or these one cost vanishes and play all these two costs. And I'm gonna try to get my energy down to as low as possible. So I can play these ones just to make sure my team doesn't die on this next round. But I'm not gonna play this because I don't want to generate too much energy because I want to show you what happens uh, with a mana loop if you play the deck wrong or if your deck can't handle it. Not all decks are made to for a mana loop. Evelyn is, uh, is a classic mana loop user, uh, but 
anyone can accidentally break you can break your deck you can make it so you can't play your deck anymore by accidentally picking this up and not having a deck that is appropriate for it where the energy cost is just too high for your deck uh make sure my team doesn't die here give some cards to maluka to make sure we got everything going on here Do, 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 do. Nothing there. So, I didn't gain any energy for the turn. I'm going to cast all these two costs on myself. I'm going to get the rebate from my healing brew talent. So, like, I have Maluka set up here so that she can use this correctly. But now, you see I'm down to two and one. we got to go one more turn here. Hopefully, uh, no one dies between now and then. Don't die, Wilbur! So, basically, you're playing without Energize, you're playing with your out your plus three energy per turn, and you are only gaining energy through playing cards. So, almost there. I just want to show you a little instance I accidentally ran into on the Archon fight with this setup, because, oopsies, I, uh, I ran out of, uh, I banished all my cards that cost one out of my deck, and all the... Um, well, actually, I got rid of all the ones that cost zero, and then I was only left with ones that cost one or two. But you see here, I cast this two-cost spell. Bam. I only got one energy back for playing it, and now I can no longer play the zero-cost benediction. Like, as m much as I try playing these one-costs, I can't get there. But I can. You saw I got the energy rebate from the Shadow Mend. I did gain an extra energy, so now I'm back up to playing benedictions again. But if I play too many of them... Uh, you can't see it, but I mean, I'm, I'm going to go back down to one energy. Hopefully this was a good enough illustration. It's really not that the... Uh... You got to find ways to generate energy outside of um, your energy per turn. You're just playing without that energy per turn and your deck has to be small enough. That's what I want to do here. I want to show you... I'll show you Maluka's deck uh, outside of combat so you can actually see... Her average energy cost is 1.25, but she's also got this healing brew that says, hey, healing spells, I'm getting one energy per turn. And even like in this setup, uh, I also have a lot of my vanish cards are, are the zero cost ones, right? So this average is a little above one once I've vanished all my cards down. All I'm left with are these benedictions, the baptism, the dispel magic. And even in this setup, I can screw up and run out of energy and basically not be able to play any more cards for the rest of the, the fight if I don't manage uh, my the talent that says gain energy rebate for casting cards because then I'll be locked out of all the two-cost cards because I'll, I'll be stuck down to one energy and you're never going to go below one energy but I'll be locked out of anything that costs more than one. Does that make sense? Hopefully this helps. I know it was quick and dirty but it was requested and I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. Ideally, for you to be able to play Mana Loop without screwing yourself over and losing access to your deck, you need your average energy cost to be one or less um, to make things go. You can basically take all these cards in this deck, and I subtract one from their energy cost, and that's how much they cost me to play, but I gain zero energy per turn. So these Benedictions cost one, and I only want to be playing them when I have the rebate. This, All these one costs are free, some of them draw me cards, and all these zero costs are generating energy. Like, Malediction generates one energy because it's a zero cost card. Uh, so, yeah, you just gotta subtract one to everything. And the easiest way to do that is just look at this average energy cost, make sure it's one or less, or close enough that you can play around your cards correctly. Uh, hopefully, that's helpful. I will catch you later, and a peace. Mana loop! Mana loop!